Hello, in this video we're going to work our way up to building a three LED circuit. How we're going to do that is you need one green wire, three red wires, three LEDs, doesn't matter what color they are, red or green, and then three resistors. So remember the habit that we're starting. You might have a different breadboard, so some breadboards um, are a little bit different. So just pointing this out, uh, notice how the digital is over here, the digital pins, and then the digital pins are over here on this one. The analog pins are over here on this one, and the analog is over here. So that's just some differences. So when I talk about using the numbers, you might have to accommodate for uh, having a different board. But in general, it's about the same thing. So the first thing I'm going to look for is GND by the analog side. So looking for the letters G and D, that stands for ground, and that's on the analog side. Otherwise, you could use it by the digital side as well. There's three spots. So I'm picking mine by the analog side, and I'm going to plug ground into the blue line. So the blue line, this can now, whatever's plugged into it horizontally, all these are connected, that will all be attached to ground, G and D. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place one LED. So make sure you have your LED and you have a long and a short end. I'm going to split it across this gap. These ones are connected vertically. So row 27 goes all the way to row 27, except for this gap breaks apart that connection. So I'm putting the short end of the LED closest to the blue brain and the long end further away. I'm picking row 27. And now that I have my LED stuck in there, I need to hook it up to the ground so the short end of the LED, row 27, will get a resistor. And the other end of this resistor is going to go into the blue line, anywhere on that blue line, so that way it's now connected to ground. For connecting this LED to, um, to the digital pins, I'm going to... I'm going to eventually connect this to pin 9 for LED 1, pin 10 for LED 2, and pin 11 for LED 3. So by associating, by assigning that number, that's what it's going to be connected to. And because mine goes like this, so I have 9, 10, 11, I'm going to make my one at the top 9. And I'm going to use a long wire because it's got to reach a long ways. And one other thing too, if you have to reach too far, you could always move the ground to the other side and switch around the LED. But I'm trying to keep this in a working manner. So if I were to plug in um, one LED sketch, this would work. Because I have a positive flow of electrons, power in that red wire going through. It's connected vertically, going up to the LED, he heating up those um, that element, and then coming back down and going through, and the electrons are attracted to the negative end. Expanding upon that, I'm going to put another LED in, and the long end of the LED is just like before, so this is a red LED just to show you the difference. The long LED is going to be going on the far side, and just for the sake of spreading them out, I'm going to put this in row 18. So the short end went closest to the blue brain, and the long end is furthest away. Using a resistor, I'm going to plug in the short end to the blue negative line. So it's in the same line as line 18 is the short end of the LED going to the blue negative line. The last thing I need to do, this is connected to digital pin 10 and I need a longer red wire. So this will be connected to digital pin 10 just like that. Those wires are pretty long. So that is a two LED circuit. If you upload a two LED circuit, this would work as well. This one's connected to ground because everything in that blue line is connected. Lastly, for a three LED circuit, we're going to plug this into row 10. So the long end of the LED is going to be furthest away from the blue board. The short end is going to be closest. So in row 10. The resistor is going to be the first thing I plug in after I do the LED, so in row 10 to the blue negative line. 
And lastly, I'm going to plug this into digital pin 11. And there you go. That's a three LED circuit.